Greetings Soul Family, it's Teal here. Welcome to another video. Today we are going deep into unverified personal gnosis and working with Mother Lilith. Now for those who were following my TikTok will have kind of a grasp of what I was what I am about to talk about but just a little bit because I'm going to expand specifically with the lineage of Lilith herself because our relationship is so deep and she's been with me literally through everything like I as far as I'm concerned I wouldn't even be alive if it's not for Lilith so this video is really a way to honor her by giving you guys information that's not going to be documented anywhere so some of you may be familiar with the story of Lilith others not so much so Lilith is known as the mother of demons and she is quite feared within the Jewish tradition but not really spoke too much on within Christianity so they probably because she was edited out of the Bible or um, kind of filtered through rabbinic literature and there's not really actually much to go off of um, what we do know is that Lilith is believed to be the first wife of Adam and she would not submit to him she was not about that and there's different kind of different ideas around what happened at here where one is God cast her out of the Garden of Eden for not submitting why there's another that she actually knew God's true name and used that as a power move to get the hell out and then she um, connected with Samuel and they had some demon babies known as or oh, they're known like as Lil Lilians and Lilians I'm not saying that right but what we're more familiar with is like the succubi, incubi kind of energy. So we're going to explore that. So for little to know God's true name, going off of that story, right, it would suggest that she either existed at the same time when God was created or prior. Now, let me get into my personal channelings. There are beings of the void and there is the God of the cosmos that actually forged from the Big Bang itself. So kind of bear with me as we go down this rabbit hole. So there are 11 kingdoms. Um, what I made up that makes up the whole of this kingdom is known as La Ku Shiakama. <laughs> I know I'm saying that wrong. I butcher everything. It's kind of crazy when a spirit actually channels me some names and all that. And I'm like, I, I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know how to say it, but I try. <laughs> From there, it's broken down the two families, the dark mother of the void and the father of the cosmos. Lilith being the dark mother of the void, which actually would predate the father of the cosmos. Um, and within these kingdoms, right? So... The void and creation itself is very interlocked. They're very connected. They all forge from that space. But when there was awareness of consciousness, one was within to the great big bang that sparked it in the awareness. Why there was creatures within the void and beings, despite the fact that energy was not necessarily communicating or even expanding, somehow there was still awareness. So a conscious living thoughts and processes that actually probably led into forging the big bang and here we are you know who knows there's a lot to it i'm not a scientist i don't want to get into trying to play the oh this is where this and this is how life's created i don't know right i don't know if god's actually had any involvement in creating humans or that life just created life right that things were naturally part of that play because it's the whole thing is just insane and incredible that we even exist um, but with that being said so these two families the dark mother um, rules over um, the spirit realm the void the web of consciousness that threads both the unconscious and conscious energy together of all worlds of all realms the father of cosmos is an expansive um, energy that goes beyond the physical world um, and is the awareness of self so they both interplay so there is no war between these energies between the mother and father they both play their roles here right um, and they yeah it's complicated right and we are connecting with Lilith as the ultimate dark mother 
in this case however there are other dark mothers and other source beings we're just going into her particular lineage it's really complicated because there's actually multiple families multiple sources in all reality so we're just tapping into her story and that's where we're going with this um so with her she rules over the vampire and the succubi incubi and she also rules over um, a lot of the death energy, along with, of course, Hecate, Anubis, and so forth. But her main thing is with these energy of the Succubi, Incubi. Hence, is why a lot of people connect her with that sexual energy, seducing, and so forth. However, one thing that's always irritated me with the conversation of Lilith is how people because of the sexual aspect that they sexualize her um, in a very way that disconnects more than what look like they just limit her to as a succubi. Lilith herself has a succubi aspect, yes, but is not just a succubus. She is the queen of the shadow. She rules over the Kilfoth with Samuel. She is extremely powerful. She is a goddess, right? Um, working with her in a sexual aspect is only gonna be a tiny bit of your work. Um, and it shouldn't be the reason why you work with Lilith either because you want to have that kind of relationship. If you do want that kind of relationship, it's actually better to ask Lilith, make a request for a Succubar Incubi or King Asmodeus or Nama or really any of the Queen of Hells um, or these ruling spirits that work into those energies for that type. So that way you can actually focus on building a solid relationship with Lilith and she'll let you know if she does want um, that sexual connection, which there's a good chance she will because she does like that as an offering. But again, it's not about satisfying your personal pleasures or fetishes necessarily. Um, a lot of her work, a lot of these beings that do work with the sexual energies, it's actually a way to work through your trauma um, and to be able to heal. So if you are a victim of rape, um, maybe you are a transgender, right? And you've dealt with a lot of body shaming um, and you're not comfortable with who you are. Lilith and these other kind of beings can help you with that. Um, hope you accept, learn to love yourself, to get comfortable with your sexuality. And it's quite empowering. Um, and of course, many other things. With Lilith, she is... Uh, let me, like, so for me, with my relationship with her, she helped me with my Kundalini awakening multiple times. Um, when I was going through the toughest situations in my life where I just wanted to give up, she was there pushing me through it, forcing me to fight. She's been like, she is like a mother um, where she can be tough and hard on you, but at the same time, be gentle when you need it. Like she knows how to balance that. She's very drawn to people that have been abused um, or are just like, are really caught into this very dark energy that may have suffered from severe depression and so forth because she is about empowering you, teaching you. Uh, so yeah, Lilith is an incredible being. So with going back to these families, right, with her ruling, she rules over the vampire. She doesn't necessarily rule over death, but she does work with the death beings and is connected to that. Also part of these realms, so now we're just going to talk about the different worlds and so forth. We also have the chaos beings that exist. Um, the chaos are very interesting because both um, the father and mother are connected to the chaos realm, um, but neither of them created the chaos realm. So let's make that very clear. Um, and particular being that rules over chaos realm, and this is another source, this is another lineage altogether, and also known as the father of demons, Satan himself. Um, and he actually balances between the father of the cosmos and um, the dark mother of the void and is in between creating like is the lord of chaos and he pretty much what I was channeling is that he actually stemmed. He is the ultimate source of the void and everything else expanded out from that chaos and created that dualistic world that split that tear um he is the one that also is the igniter of the black flame as well as the keeper of the black flame and in our really big practice is that is your soul spark that is what amplifies and connects you to the demonic divine to the source of chaos and the void itself um and then he has multiple, many thousands and thousands of kingdoms alongside this, so does Lucifer. Lucifer actually hits more under the father of the cosmos to my knowledge. 
uh, which again, this isn't about the Christian God, so make sure you guys aren't thinking about Christian God versus devil. That's not what this is. Um, they both play very significant roles and are just there to help you, really. Um, but to my knowledge, Lucifer actually came from the father of the cosmos, and he has multiple kingdoms and within these kingdoms. So along with these original families and these ones that break up within these um energies is they actually have astral kingdoms for example lucifer has like probably like ten thousand kingdoms roughly around there and lucifer's raphael actually rules over one of these kingdoms now lucifer and lucifer's raphael are definitely not the same and lucifer's raphael is actually very much so close to lucifer though and he actually rules over one of his kingdoms but it's also kind of like his own kingdom so it's a lot again processing through um so hopefully y'all are following me because i know it's a it's a, it's it's a thing and this all does come back to lilith again because this is the relationship between all these family lines she particularly yes rules over the psyche by incubi but she also works over the shadow she also works with the death energy um and she takes she's part of the reason why i've been through these processes through these channelings to be able to evolve further in my own path but also to have more of awareness and why we're on this path what is the purpose understanding these connections our relationship with the physical world to the spirit world and to other planes right it all interlocks and connects together um within the next lineages we of course have the astral planes so the astral planes did not exist initially um they actually expanded when the fathers and cosmos and the dark mother united and started amplifying and emanated this energy of creation um that expanded throughout the entire universe which by the Doing so, it actually forged other worlds, realms, and may have had a partake into even the creation of humanity, kind of. But then again, that could have just been like, because it's the energy that magnified. It wasn't like a physical being sitting there playing clay like they put into mythologies, right? To try to understand, I think science does come into play here where they do interlock. But again, I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going down too deep with that. Um, and then we also have the realm of the dragons, which Satan is actually very much connected to. So is Mother Love. Many of the demonic divine do have dragon aspects or are draconic in source completely so we do have within the realm of the void we have the dragons we also have the unconscious realm um we have the fire realm as well as the souls the souls hecate tends to be very much involved into that plane particularly that is where like lost souls of the void or souls are being created and so forth and then the gateways which is highly guarded so i can only get so much information on the gateways because uh, the gateways is what is within the void that allows everybody for us to travel through. So I always step into the void because I'm like, oh, it's easy to create a portal. Well, there's another space within the void that is guarded and it has very particular gateways to certain realms that are excluded for certain people that are meant to go through trials to even get into that gateway. So it's like you can't just step in there just because you want to go on a visual meditation. Like it's highly restricted so it was very interesting so i wanted to share all that and kind of i know I felt like a bit of rambling i'm sorry in advance because i wanted to cover a bit of what i was channeling with that but as well as sharing with what is what about like lilith you know i'm just really this way to honor her mostly anyways thank you guys for watching and infernal blessings